In this movie, we will import BLK data into Register 360. Let's launch the application. And first, let's give our project a name. We'll click on Create New Project and name it. We'll call it Import BLK 360. We'll hit OK. And the program will open up to a large map view. The map can be used as a backdrop to your scans should you want to. In this case, we're going to omit that. First, we also need to connect to the scanner. So we'll go to our Wi-Fi settings, say connect, click anywhere on the screen, that box will go away. Next we'll go to import BLK360, connect on the scanner, and we'll browse down to where our scans are. In this case, it is the last two. We'll say add the project, and next you will see all the scans on the scanner show up in a list. However, the bottom two that we selected are the ones that are checked. Be sure Auto Target is selected as well as Auto Cloud, and we'll begin the import process as well as trying to register the two scans together automatically. As Register 360 imports each scan, it will indicate which one it is on. Once it is done, it will give a result of how many links it found between the scans. In this case, because we have a lot of vegetation in the scans, it wasn't able to find a fit. So we can go ahead and do it manually. We can rotate our scans. In this case, if you hold down shift and then right click and hold, we can rotate, slide one over on top of the other, and you'll notice that a hint line will show up as a link. We can right click on it, go to our visual alignment and we can zoom in and fit our two scans together. When using visual alignment, it is best to look at a corner, fit the two corners, and then you can rotate around that corner to match the two scans on top of each other. We'll fine tune and slide over just a little bit. And then once you have your horizontal view fixed, we need to go to our elevation view. We'll go to Elevation View and we'll just move the scans up and down just a little bit so that they match. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and create the link. Once the link is created, we can hover over the site map and go into a link cloud. We can take a look at the fit to make sure it's okay. In this case, it looks pretty good. Once finished inspecting the data, we can click on our sitemap and go to the Finalize tab, accept the results, hit Accept, and it will go into the reporting phase. Now you can export the data to continue your deliverable creation.